All right, guys, we come to you today in a pretty sombre sort of note because uh, a friend of the golfing community in Australia, Jared Lyle, is not in a very good place. No. So as the time this is being filmed, he's been moved to palliative care and uh, ceased treatment for, for his leukaemia. Yep. And um, it's, it's, it's not good. I mean, he's, he's, he's a very, very, very decent man and um, he's battled through, what, well, this is his third bout? Yeah, yeah, third bout. Had one when he was a teenager. Um, and then again in a few 2012, years ago. Yep. Uh, when he was back in Australia for the birth of his first child. Yep. He had become unwell and obviously had again, I think he had a bone marrow transplant. Yep. I can't recall exactly, I think it was from his brother. Yep. Um, at some stage. Um, look, the unfortunate thing with cancers, it, it does have a habit of being able to come back. So, yep. no one, everyone that has cancer is only ever in remission rather than then yeah, cured. Necessarily or, or cured or from it. So yeah. it's a uh, ter ter it, terrible thing. It's so. terrible. It's terrible when it happens to anybody, but it's yep. terrible to happen to, to decent people. Um, there's some audio here, uh, which is from uh, Golf Australia's Inside the Ropes, that I want everyone to listen to. And uh, this is sort of Jared talking, not so much to the media, this is just a recording that uh, he put together for sort of everybody. So mm. um, have, have a bit of a listen. Bri has run out of words to express what's going on in the Lyle household. She's done such an amazing job. I, I could not be more praise. I couldn't give more praise to a woman for being so brave and eloquent and just stellar as a human being. And she wants us to play this audio and to answer that question, Jared, what would you say to all the people who've given you so much thanks and well wishes? I feel like I'm the luckiest golfer going around. Because so many people took an interest in me and and took an interest in my, I guess, my fight. You know, and to have so many friends around the world, whether they're spectators, whether they're golfers, whether they're marshals, whatever, to have that kind of support to go to every tournament is a great feeling. And it's going to be hard to leave them behind, but they know that I love them. They know that all the fighting that I did do was to get back out and play golf again. And, you know, to have the support from all those people was, was just, a, just a tremendous feeling. You know, and it's... It's going to be hard, but at some point it's going to happen and and they'll get on with their lives and it's just, yeah, I just feel very, very lucky. Alrighty, so Richo's just heard that for the first time. Yeah, yeah. It and it's it's certainly it's it's harrowing listening to it, but like it's it also shows the sort of character of the bloke too. Like he was thinking the marshals. Yeah. yeah. And oh, look, Jim, I'm sure there's one another person he'd really like to thank, um, Robert Allenby. Yeah. Ro Robert yeah, Allenby right. has has copped a bit of a hard time over the years by the media due to his personality and bits and pieces. But mm. he met Jared when he was only very young. Yeah. Right. And you know, he's always been a massive big supporter of him. So. Even though we see some people and we form some opinions on some people, mm. there's some other sides of people. And like I said, certainly I'm sure Jared would say about Robert Allenby was that, you know, a very decent, decent bloke. Like I said, very supportive of him. Yep. I think he originally met him through a, like the Make-A-Wish yeah. Foundation. Yeah. Um, it was a bit like, I think there was someone that met Greg Norman once for the, the same sort of thing. So, so Jared wanted to meet him, got to meet him formed a friendship, been a big supporter of him over the years. So, you know, it's, look, look it, it is unfortunate. Yeah. Um, you know. Like, but like Jared said, everybody will move on, but it'll be, it'll be tough to lose the fellow like that. And that's, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. It shows how humble well, the bloke is. Look, unfortunate life, that's a bit what happens. Some people come and go out of your lives. And unfortunately we move, lose some good people in our lives. And, you know, Jared knows. Look, look, do you know what? 
Look, I've been a paramedic for more than half my life, so I've seen a lot of people go through palliative care and cancer treatments, and we see people multiple times, you know, as, they, as their condition gets worse. People put up a great fight, but in the end, you know, they know that, it, that their race is run. Yeah. And, and it's unfortunate, and, you know, it, it's the same thing I told you. The, yeah. You can have all the money in the world. There is only one thing that's worth anything, and it's time. Yeah. Everyone wants more time. Yeah, and that's one thing. Can't be bought. Can't be anything. Can't it's be just, bought. You've got what you no. got. No, and you know, the fact that he can now spend some time, you yeah, know, with his loved ones and his kids, as much as he can, and hopefully they'll remember that as they grow older. And yeah, you know. So. But anyway, guys, that's it's yeah. We just want to say, Jared. I mean. Well, yeah, what, what can you say apart from you know you've, you've been an absolute champion? And, yeah, yeah, um, and, and John have been an inspiration be to a lot, lot of kids. Yeah. If, if you go up to places like um, children's hospitals, right, it's it's people like him that are inspiration to those kids that suffer. You know, they look up and they go, Do you know what, I'm going to get better from whatever I have, and that's what I want to be. Yeah. Do you know, I want to be like Jared Island. So not everyone wants to be Tiger Woods. Yeah, yeah. So. You know, people inspire people with lots of different ways. Yep. So, you know, and he certainly has been for, for a lot of people, like I said, when you look at, you, you go up to a cancer, the children's cancer ward, and it's people like him. So, mm. you know, he, he'll leave knowing that. Yeah, correct, that, correct. That he has helped some people. So yeah, he's made a difference. Yeah, yeah, and I think that that's, that's a great thing, that he's been able to you know, give back a bit and be involved in those different charities. He's involved in, um, what's the name of his head cover? Luke. Luke, yeah, Luke the Duck. Luke the Duck. So, yep. So any of the, do you want any of the charities you see now that he's supported? Yeah. Um, you know, if you can, you've got the opportunity. Yeah, give him a support. Yeah, give him a support, but, you know, it's... It's unfortunate, but that's, that's what it is. And that's, like you said, he, he, he'll leave knowing that he's done his bit for a disease that's you know, made him pass on. Yes, yes. Look, yeah. All the best to his wife. She's, she's yeah. And he's, there's two, two little, there's two little girls. Fantastic I think. job. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very but, good. Yeah. But do you know, what's the old saying? Better to have loved than lost than never loved at all. There you go. So maybe his wife and kids can. Correct. Share that. that with them. Yeah, correct. So. That, it, it's 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 tough, but um, yep. there is a hashtag going around, and um, if if there's children watching and uh, they don't want to hear a swear word, uh, I want everybody to put a hashtag of fuck cancer uh, in the comments below, yes, and it seems to be uh, it seems to be what's yeah. going around, and I'd agree. But yeah, yeah. I right, look, do you know what? Like I said, I've seen a fair bit of it over the years. Lots of different forms of cancer. They are terrible things. Of course it is. So. All right, guys. So, show your support for Jared um, on Twitter, Facebook. Comment on this. Share this around, and uh, yeah, hopefully. Yep. yep. Uh, like I said, all the best to his family, yep. friends, all those people that have you know known him. So yeah, it is. Um, it's tough, but that's what it is. Anyway, we're showing our support from Aussie Golf Reviewer and everybody in the Australian golf community, as uh, Golf Australia have already spoken to him, and uh, yeah, we'll throw as much support your way as uh, we possibly can. Yeah, and like I said, those charities that those people support, by yep. all means, get, yep, it. get out there and, you know, support those charities. They do great work. Um, certainly, palliative care is, is, is an area that people don't think of much. They yep. think of the treatment for a lot of different diseases, but, um, you know, the palliative care staff, the mm. doctors and the nurses, um, look, they do a wonderful job in a very trying circumstances because they do have people at the end of their lives That's so right. their, their job is really hard like no one is going to get better from there That's so it. so they, they have a really tough job and they do a fantastic job i've never heard anyone you know well yeah. families yeah. go joe you know, they're terrible they treat us poorly they they're very kind considerate and do a fantastic job so support yep all right guys thanks for checking the video Support Jared and uh, and uh, hopefully his family. That's all you can say is just you know, good luck to everybody, really. Hmm. All right, guys. Thanks all for right. checking the video. Beautiful. See you next time. Cheers. Take care.